Hey guys, is this thing on? I'm sure I plugged it in. Is that plugged in over there? Andy, is this thing on? Check it. One, two. Is this thing on? Check. Check. I have phantom power. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Chicks with gear. Chicks with gear. And Andy Moe. The fabulous Andy Moe, who is not a chick. The song always makes me cry. <laughs> and we're so excited to have Mr. Murfreesboro, Bill Wilson with us. Hey, I'm excited to be here at the launch of the Chicks with Gear with podcast. Podcast. The podcast. Yes. With Andy Most, the resident gear. Head. Head. Head of gear. Head of gear. The head of gear. (laughs) Let's give it up. Oh, yes. Give it up. Here we go. Yes. So. Thanks for coming, Bill. I am excited to be here, seriously. Um, Let's, you want to dive right in? Are we going to dive right in? Are y'all ready? I think we can dive right in. And this is is G-rated, right? We're keeping it clean. (laughs) It's a family show. it's a podcast, you know, maybe nothing like nasty. Yeah, nothing nasty. Yeah. (laughs) Dirty jokes. I want to talk about Sisters Wade Revival, when y'all got started, where you got started, and then let's talk about how Andy got into the picture. And. Ange. Andy. Andy Mose. Andy, supper's on the table. Come home. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Griffith. Little, little Andy oh. Griffith. But yeah. y'all are from Andy Boston. Comers. We're from Massachusetts Tell. originally. A little Is, town called West Bridgewater. Shout out oh. to the Bridgewater fans. <gasps> Bridgewater, which is how close to Boston? 30 miles. Yeah. 30 miles. It's about 4,000 people. It's pretty small. It's like the size of Woodbury, Tennessee. Yes. And it's, it's pretty much sister. like... <laughs> it's a sister town. It's not a, not a cis pool. <laughs> and not, it's, <laughs> Depends. Is that what it... Uh, Depends. I'm not wearing no. one. Oh, so, Lord. So we are famous for the Hockamock... Um, Swamp. Hockamock Hockamock. Swamp, and it became famous last year. It was on one of those ghoulie shows because it's known for ghosts and all kinds of scary stuff. Swamp creatures. Swamp creatures is a better word. The swamp thing was filmed there, and that's where they take all the bodies, right? (laughs) Maybe that's for Halloween. No, I don't know. But Boston was my favorite. It's a great city. It is a great city. A lot of history, the Boston Tea Party, the, uh, what else, Paul Revere and the Raiders. Oh, that's a band. Uh, (laughs) But my favorite the team, the Pilgrims. Mm. My mm-hmm. favorite team growing up, and still is the Boston Celtics. But oh. yay for yeah. Bill! Um, so y'all started out there. Yes. Were y'all brought up? Like, what made you want to be a musician? Was it the singing? Was it a certain? Uh, our the guitar, dad. the money, the was, money, the money. It was the money. It's definitely not the money. I was in the third grade. And this gentleman came in. His name was Mr. Hogan. He played trumpet, and our dad played trumpet. And he brought in a bunch of other young kids our age playing Christmas music. And I came home, and I said to my mom, I don't want to do dancing lessons anymore. I want to play trumpet. She's done. And mom was very sad. She was sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because trumpets are loud. They are loud. (laughs) And then what about you? Yes, they are. Well, actually, when I was not even in school, the... High school girls dragged me out on a stage this with them. This is true. And uh, wanted me to sing and because uh, they were chicken. And <laughs> so anyway, uh, that was my first taste of the stage. Yes. And uh, and then we, we actually sang and did the nursing home circuit. And we <laughs> pl- sang and played our trumpets. And um, mm-hmm. it was quite exciting. Y'all weren't there at the end. That's you? where we <laughs> met. <laughs> when you say trumpet, met. I'm thinking of the angels. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. But but you made us now. How do you do a circuit of uh, nurse homes? You just find out. Um, so our voice teacher, Mrs. Garrier. Um, Shout out to Mrs. Garrier. Yes, too. yes, she was fabulous, very sweet lady, <laughs> and so she knew where all of the the circuit was, and so we would on the weekends we would go and and sing and perform at all the little nursing homes. Yep. Down south, we call that the old folks' home. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, yes. well, that's cool. But they asked you to come back. That's always a good thing. They did. They did. 
we were very sweet back then. So, <laughs> so that's where it started. Was, that was like a long in, time that ago. Was a long, <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, uh, Ange. Ange. <laughs> so where did you go from the old folks' home, nursing homes? If you're a Yankee. Um, well, we put a band together. Yes, we did. And we traveled all over um, the South Shore of Massachusetts. Well, what we're in college. What was the yeah. name of that band? Do you remember? Up, uptown. <laughs> we were called the Uptown. Uptown. Girl. uptown. uptown. <laughs> yeah. Why Uptown? Who? Uh, I don't know who came so up we with that terrible. name. It was a weird name, but uh, <laughs> we ha- we played all the time. Yeah. I think you maybe have stolen it from Billy Joel, the Uptown Girls. Is that was no. that a song? No, because no. he's from know. that area, I believe. Well, we had an older gentleman. Of course, we thought he was old. He was like 32 in our band when we were in college, so we thought he was old. I think he may have come up with the name. He was the businessman, and he kept us booked every Mm -hmm. weekend. We played some really fun places. I thought about the other day, how did I pay for stuff in college? It was from our band. Yeah. Yeah, we made more money then than we're now. (laughs) But was that maybe true? Was it just you two? Mm Mm-mm. Uptown. We had a whole band. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about what what instruments did y'all play? Guitar. Guitar. Piano. Keyboards. What about trumpet? I mean. No. <laughs> the no. trumpet. The well, you can make a trumpet. Yeah, we're trying to stay too. working. Uh, yes. Trump. Yes, the trumpet. And. Um, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And then we had drums and bass. We had a whole band. So you had a whole band. Yeah. And we we did. did all country and up, what do you call it? Uh, top Top 40. 40. Top 40 stuff. Yeah, we did Madonna. Parties. Yeah, we did play parties. Actually, frat early houses, on, maybe? we did parties, we did weddings, we did um, Chinese restaurants. Yes. Any frat houses or anything like that? Or, we played the Rat Skeller at our college, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bridgewater did. State College. And what name of that college was? It's now called Bridgewater State University, but oh, it was cool. just a college when we were there. Cool. I don't know if that affects our degree anyway. <laughs> uh, no, I, it took me eight years to graduate, so don't feel bad. Oh. <laughs> What's the hurry? I should be a doctor. That's right? what I say. This What's the hurry? But this isn't about me. This is about y'all. Yes. So y'all went to- The University to... of Arizona has kind of calmed down their requirements. So. Oh. But so that, that, Andy yeah. was learning his music- Right. In New York, Andy, or Florida? Massapequa. 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 Where is that in New, New York. York? Yeah, is that a like close to Long a lake? Island? Long Island. Oh, I was going to say it. Long Island. Great South Bay. Is that what it? It's been a while. Mm-hmm. So That's that, where Jerry Seinfeld was from. Wow. That's right. The character Brian on the Setzer. show. The character. Alec I mean, no, no. Larry, Larry David. Do y'all like Larry David? I do. Yeah. It's a trip. Um, so you grew up in New York or New York City? What was that like? Long Island. Long Island. I'm sorry. It was great. It was a uh, suburb. Not what. Not, not the big what, city. Um, not the big apple. I don't know. Did you walk New York lot? has, you know, it's got a reputation for a reason, but it was just like living in a regular suburb back then. But you you either walked or rode the subway into the town, or that is in, the town. Into New York City, you would take a train. But no, we walked, cars. Cool. I mean, it's just like any yeah. neighborhood. Right. Well, that's cool. So you're in New York doing your gig, doing your thing. Were you just playing? Were you playing in a band or? My thing was elementary school, junior high school, and high school. Right. And my, uh-huh. and my thing ended there, and I went south to Florida <laughs> to Miami. Miami. My- we played some gigs, all you know, garage bands. Right. Yeah, Big you had you band. won. Shout you out won. to Carl oh. and James. Carl and, and Jeff. James. What's up? Thanks Carl, for letting James him and Jeff. come this way. That's right. Carl, right. James, and Jeff. So yes. some people call it Miami. Miami. I've Miami, Miami. Carl Gables. It's nice down there. Uh, <gasps> it is nice down real there. Real nice. So you go from New York to South Florida, Miami, or Miami. <laughs> yeah. Miami. And then what are you doing there? You play in the pubs. Yeah, going to school. And then I got a gig with a husband and wife who had a band. And they said, hey, we, we got a gig for two weeks. And they kept me working for three years. So I wow. Doing that. Yeah, it was great. Shout out to those two. That's yes. right, Frank and Come Vivian. On. Frank and Vivian. That Was that the name of the band or was it just kind of? What was the name of the band? Uh-oh. That's a, We're I testing. can't even remember. 
Well, great the, South or something like that. Great South. Know. Let's go. Great <laughs> South. Great South. That's a good one. Oh, From Miami. Yeah. It's the very leisure, South. At the Leisure Lounge. That was <laughs> yes. the house gig. This, this, in ha, Leisure City. Ha, this is a question for all three of you. Have you been performing in a fight breakout? Have you? Yes. Ever? Oh, yes. Give us an example. So we used to play the Bell Boy down in Situate, Situate Harbor. And it was a pretty fun place because we had a full house every time we played. And one night we were playing and a huge fight broke out. The police came and dragging the guy on his back as he's leaving. He grabs onto my keyboard. And we were playing a Journey song at the time. I'll never Please. forget it. We did not stop playing. He <laughs> kept trying to get my keyboard. Don't and you're playing the Don't and stop. I'm playing. Stop, the whole no. band's going, don't stop. And so, uh, <laughs> he keeps dragging. Yeah. And yeah. they got him up out. Up the stairs. <laughs> up the stairs. And then he came back later um, after being, I guess, in jail and maybe at the hospital. He was all bleedy when he left. And he came back. Bleedy, for I love it. I've never heard. Is that a word? Bleedy. I love it. Well, that's because I haven't had my magic mind today. I oh, ran Lord. out. Oh, magic yes. mind. Yeah, so my brain's making up words. Yes. Well, that's cool. But the guy was, he was bleedy. Yeah. And he came back to hear, y'all were so good, he wanted to come back. And, <laughs> that's and, it. And, and Last hear you. call for alcohol. And maybe he was have there. a few drinks. <laughs> what about yeah. you, Andy? Have you ever been playing in a fight break? Or oh, what's the wildest thing that's ever happened? Do you ever, streakers? You know, I mean, what, what, what? <laughs> What have you had happen? I'm just curious. I've always wondered. Uh, Andy might have more in Miami. Yeah. Some fist of I mean, guess, or a knife fight, you know, like West sto- West, side West Side Story. story. Actually, mm-hmm. people, guy picked up um, some pool balls here in Nashville at some oh. real nasty mm-hmm. place when I first got here, and they were throwing them. <laughs> oh. You know, throwing um, pool balls at y'all? No, but... We were close. Right. <laughs> Don't Cl- hit me ball. to try to hit Two this balls. guy over oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Julie, you could <laughs> share our first real band experience, just this you is and I. Right. So G-rated. Uh, G-rated. correct. Yes. Thank you okay. for reminding that. Okay. Thank you for the about so bringing stuff to oh, the yeah. club we shouldn't have. So look, we 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 decided <laughs> we decided we were going to play as a duo, and we played this place it was in Middleborough. It was called the Benchmark. It was <clears throat> our first gig by ourselves. <laughs> And um, that I think our mother got for us. <laughs> yeah, and so I love y'all's mom. She's oh, so she's so, um, so. Shout out to mom. Oh, Hi, mom. Yes, and my yes. mom. Hey, mom. Hello, Andy's well, mom. Andy's mom. She's in heaven. Anyhow, yes. sorry. Anyhow, but and my so, fan club well, president. president is our mom, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> she likes Andy better. Yes. Uh, she is the president of Andy's fan club. Andy's well, fan club. Anyway, yes. we had heard that, like, when you know, we go to a club and they give out, you know, drinks and shots. like shots. We were trying to get some engagement with the audience and give away shots. So <laughs> we just borrowed a bottle from our dad. A and vodka. A vodka. <laughs> was, it, was it Papov? <laughs> the cheapest rock. Ru- I don't know. Smirnoff. I'm Smirnoff. sure it was something pretty good. And so we started, you know, like if there was a trivia question, oh, you get a shot. Well, <laughs> finally. <laughs> so so we were giving the shots from our own bottle at a bar. So you, basically y'all were just passing the... We had a talk. <laughs> and anything happened? I mean, no, no DUIs. Yeah, no, okay. no, no. There was hardly anybody there. There was like two people. But anyway, the, the bartender said to us, hey, look. And I don't know if you know this or not, but we sell, we sell liquor. liquor. <laughs> <laughs> like, poor, do they know we sell liquor? Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, but you wanted to be prepared. But we thought it was really case. cute. Well, we yeah. used to see it like because I was 18, mm-hmm. so I could go to the bars down in Rhode Island. You, we, it was drinking age, was still 21 in Massachusetts. So I would go with my friends, but I didn't drink, but I would see that they would give out free shots when people did stuff. So apparently. Like, apparently. So um, I thought that we would just, because we were very polite, we would bring our own and not expect the bar to give it away. You were being lady. You were being lady-like. <laughs> How about that? Lady-like. Yeah. Yeah. I, Do you remember that night? Yes. Like, okay. Oh, yeah. I remember oh, them yeah. all. Finally, so I will tell you, we, we didn't charge very much. For us to play there. And finally, this, this guy came in. I don't know, he was a musician, and he sat us down, and he was like, we, we need to talk. And we're like, why? Mm-hmm. So we were getting paid $25 for the pair of us. 
And he was like, um, you're killing us because it should be $25 per person. So right. you're killing the scale. Right. And so he said, uh, "Come back to our house, and we're gonna we're gonna go over some stuff." So he <laughs> he gave us a, a pretty good learning. He gave you in the tool that, shed. That was yeah. a line he used. Come uh, back yeah, we to came, our yeah. house. No, look, that was so it. Look, we actually went to the house. We did dummies, but but he just was, met him. But <laughs> y'all just don't met this go guy. near the truck. <laughs> Lucy Goosey, listen. <laughs> so look, no, no, we were square pegs. Totally but, naivete. Mm, oh, yeah. Mm. But I will tell you, he actually did go over all of these things that we were doing incorrectly. And one, you know, was bringing alcohol to a bar. Yeah, and... That's probably wrong. Yeah. He, and charging too much, too he, little. He got us booked at the Ground Round, which I don't know oh, if it's yeah. still up there. We had a ground round gig every Friday and Saturday night, the two of us, with a beatbox that we had from our <laughs> grandmother to Oregon. Uh, did it have the lights coming up? Were the lights oh, yeah. on the beatbox? Oh, yeah. It, it cool. had the bossa nova. I like that right there. You know what I mean. And the samba was my favorite. Mm-hmm. And I had bass pedals. We were too cheap to hire a bass player. So I had bass pedals with the keyboard. And then um, we, we were paid 300 bucks a weekend. Was that... Like yeah. it, was that a lot of money? Yes, it's yes, a lot of money now. Yes. That's more than the Aubrey pays. <laughs> I was going to say. We, and, and look, we, you didn't have to do much because you had to play Happy Birthday. That That's was right. kind of the thing. So like, you know, 20 Thank times you. Uh, in a <laughs> You had to do oh. Happy Birthday to the people that were yes. coming in. Yes, be like, was, oh, Bill's birthday today, everybody. Let's sing him Happy Birthday. And they get a little cake. Yeah, yes. and peanuts, they throw them all over the floor. There was the first place that we, where we were, that you could throw food on the floor. Like Logan. Just like it was just it was a chain, so there was a whole bunch of them, and we would just play every weekend. We'd play Friday and Saturday nights at at this little place called the Ground Round, and uh, made all kinds of money. I think of roast when I hear that the Ground Round. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe that's what it was. was, They had burgers. Oh yeah, that is funny. Yeah. So y'all are playing Ground Round. Um, Andy's down in Miami with the uh, Vivian and uh, Frank. Frank. Frank and Vivian. I was going to say Frankie. Frank. Yeah. Frankie. And then wh- how did y'all meet? What happened? Uh, Where does y'all's lives intersect? Well, or intersect? I'll give you How's the short thing? rundown. So I came down first. I auditioned for Opryland. She was at school doing some other things. And I came down here and sang in one of the shows. I, you know, busy. And, uh, and, and finally, I got Deb to move down because mm-hmm. that was my plan all along. And Music City, USA. Yes, I'm like you got to come down there. You're following your dream. She was going to some highfalutin music school, music school, the New England Conservatory. Mm. Shout out to those y'all. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow. But, the, the, the but this is what one of my friends did to me when I was saying I was moving to Nashville. He's like, oh, "What? You know they don't even have NPR there." That's what he told me. He said that. Yeah, so I called them. I'm like, yeah, they do. That's crazy. Yeah, Yeah, they they do do. have NPR. Mm -hmm. They even have indoor bathrooms. (laughs) Just saying. We wear our shoes down here, too. I know, right? That's right. Socks and shoes. Socks and shoes. (laughs) So you you wanted Sis to come down and and join you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're at the Opryland. We're talking about the the theme park. Yes, Country Music USA. Can you believe people have never experienced that? It's very sad to me. I know. It was really fun. I met a lot of people I'm still friends with, and it was um, it was kind of a unique place because it, it was. was all live. It was all live bands. There was no lip syncing. Everybody sang. And Did you get a played. discount to go through the park since you played there? I'm just curious. I could go for free when I came to visit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'd go through the guard shack. Would you, I had would, lots of those Mounties chase me through the parking lot. But. The Mounties? <laughs> the Mounties. <me. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back, Baxter, remember, where are you, Baxter? No, if, you, if you remember, <laughs> Baxter. the security at Opryland in the in there, they were all on horseback. So if you parked over there, so we, we would park, I would always park illegally. And so, because I was always late. And so I would park in the Opryland Hotel. Was it handicapped? Were you parking the handicap? No. Okay. Just no, no, sure. not Let's handicapped. Let's clear that up. Let's clear I that just up. did not park way over there where you had to take a trolley. Right. And so I would get out of the car and run. And he would chase me on his horse. <gasps> Trying to tell you not to park there. Or <laughs> yeah. Did they ever? Did you ever get it towed? Or oh, look! If you if they caught you, you um and you got five tickets, you were fired. So it was so kind you, of a big you had deal. four and a half. Is that what we're saying? Here? <laughs> they never caught me. <laughs> did you ride the tin lizzies? And did you oh, ever yeah. want to jump that little metal thing? That's what we. The thing in the middle. 
to try to yes. tip over the Tin Lizzy? I don't know the Tin Lizzy. Oh, yeah, the, the Model little a old cars. cars. Yeah. Oh. And you, they had a governor <clears throat> on them, and you could get two or three people on there, and you would get to rock and try to. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Andy, yeah. did you ever go on the Tin Lizzy? Never been on the Tin Lizzy. No. Oh. You played out there some. The Christmas show. I yes. subbed. The Christmas show was great. Christmas show was fun. That was no. a, yeah, it was a big Jerry. Thing. Shout out to Jerry. Jerry Gowan. Jerry. Jerry. What's up, Jerry? So you are playing at Opry Room doing your shows, mm-hmm. like a country music show. Country music USA. Western. In which and I did do the Christmas show. And uh yeah. And so it was kind of an anthology of country music. It was really fun. And um have met a lot of great folks and a lot of them have gone on and done lots of big things. And um, and then anyway, uh, Debbie moved down finally, and um, we put mm-hmm. a band together, and we said we're going we're gonna to play some music. That's right. And that, because so you come down here. Sort, sort of. of. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Till we all, met Andy. <laughs> and then when, how did y'all meet Andy? Where did, where did y'all meet Andy? And then. Yeah, bring him into the picture. Well, we uh, had a standing gig at Tootsie's, and we were playing actually a lot. Shout out to Tootsie's. Tootsie's. Yes. Tootsie's. The, the Wild Orchid. That's right. Yes, it was wild, too. Uh, not as wild as it is now. But anyway, we um, we had, we had were having a hard time finding a dobro player because they're hard, hard to find. And finally, Chaz Williams... Uh, was playing guitar Shout with out us. To Chaz. 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 <laughs> and tell us what a dobro. Explain that. If you don't it's mind. A, like a resonator guitar. Okay. Play it's it. Not, you play it right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so he said, "You know, I play dobro," which we didn't know he did. And he said, uh, "If I play dobro, we can get this guy Andy Most, who is fabulous. See, you guitar. were fabulous back then, and play guitar <laughs> with us." And so that was that was it. That was it. And he was right, because Andy is fabulous. Shout out to Chaz again. Chaz. Chaz. What's up, Chaz? Shout out to Andy Most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be, be Andy Most. <laughs> yep, he's the only one that would put up with us for all these years. Oh, yeah. Did y'all play exclusively there at, did you ever play Roberts that, uh, or was it Roberts Tootsies? would be not okay, because you are playing Tootsies back then. But we played, like, Wolfie's was across the street, Market the Gibson street. Bar, Market really? Street. That was a good one. Yeah. But there was like a... It's not. I think B.B. King's. B.B. King. Yeah. We played the Opry. We played the, the Ryman. Ryman. We played Exit In. Bluebird. Bluebird. Pretty much everywhere. They, they just shut down the Exit In this past year. but uh, It's open again. It is open yeah, again. Yeah, it is. A lot of great acts there. So what was your favorite? The Out of those, I guess I'm saying the Ryman was the favorite. Oh, yes. Yeah. For me it was. What about you and Andy? Yep. It was a, a highlight, and actually, it was just the three of us. We yes. walked out on stage. That was it. it was a very mm-hmm. magical moment. Yes, and played. Um, do you have that on video? No. There's no. got to be. I, I guarantee we could find a video of that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, but the Opry was pretty amazing too. Sister we, Sway. Sister no. Sway is how we were sister, introduced. Sister yes. Sway. Sway. Sister Sway. We are a big moment. <laughs> And the woman who introduced us, who will remain unnamed, uh, <laughs> maybe had a little too much something, something before. And she goes, welcome, Sister Swade. And I'm like, you know, that's not a bad name. Oh, yeah. So, so uh, for a brief moment, y'all were known as Sister Swade. Yes. yes. For that 20 minutes. Of- for that 20 minutes. <laughs> and the whole ah. band was there. So Chaz was there, Andy Most, David Spiker, and uh, who played drums with us back then? Good question. That is a good question. Could have been Steve Holland. It could have been Steve Holland. Shout out to Steve Holland. Shout out to Steve Holland and David Spiker. (laughs) And David Is that Spiker? Mm -hmm. Spiker. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. So Mm -hmm. I know y'all played with, uh, or you went on the road with, is it Charlie Daniels, man? We did. He signed us. We actually wrote, uh, recorded our first record, and uh, he loved it. And so he signed us to his label called Blue Hat Records. And we toured with him and put out a record and a video, and it was big fun. And who who else did y'all open? It was a, a group. Who was the? Who else have y'all played with or played for? Or? Br five four nine. Yes, we played with them. That was super fun. A little festival. We did a show with Sammy Kershaw. Sammy Kershaw. I haven't yes. heard that name in a while. I know. I know. And uh, Clay Walker and Brad Paisley. Mm-hmm. Linda Davis at the Opry. She's a nice laugh. I've met her before. She's really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We didn't sing together, but we were on the show together. 
You're on the show together. Yes. yes. She was lovely. And I actually used to get mistaken for her when I first came to town. I can see that. So this was really funny. So remember the little music store down on 12th Avenue? Mm-hmm. Yes. And so we used to rent gear. So we had rented a PA for something we did, the three of us. So I had the Monty, the Green Monty. And he can talk about the Green Monty <laughs> when we went to Texas together. Shout out Ooh. for Corner Music. So that... Corner Music. <laughs> that... Um, Maybe. I think that I trip will that take place. Andy straight to heaven. I'm just saying, um, <laughs> honestly. So anyways, I'm getting all, now here I am like in a Monte Carlo, not new. And I am taking out a PA by myself out of my trunk of wow. my car. Okay. Which is normal for us. No big deal. So I, but just setting the stage. Yeah. And so this guy comes running over to me. He goes, Linda. I got a tape. Will you listen to my songs? And I'm like, <laughs> uh, he goes, you're sure. Linda Davis. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. And he goes, uh, yeah, yeah, you are. And he was mad at me because I, he thought I was pretending. Because you weren't Linda Sorry, Davis. Sorry, Linda Davis. There's a guy really mad at you because you ruined his career. Um, and I'm like, seriously, I'm not Linda Davis. I don't think Linda Davis would be schlepping a PA out of Monte Carlo. And then, exactly. he, and then he schlepped I off. He was so. really mad. He sloughed off. He shlo- is that a word? Is that that's that's a northern word in it? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Sloughed. Uh, sloughed. I, I, I don't know. know. Is that? But can you say I, that? Now I've learned her to just take the tape and say okay. Yes. We'll do. Oh sure, thank you. Yes, I'll yes. get. Right, I'll have my people will get back oh, to you. Yes. How about, how about I shout out to sloughed? <laughs> <Shluffed. laughs> <laughs> I've never heard oh, yeah. before. So y'all, is that? Wait. Unfortunately, we've been here like thirty years, so what, it's a uh, vocabulary is totally messed up. Shout out to age. (laughs) Yeah, for real. Shout out to age. So 30 plus 10, what are we, in our 40s? Of course. Of course. Could you speak up, please? I can't hear you. Um, So y'all, that's when you became Sisters Wade Revival, was it in the They We were just Sisters Wade back then. We were the Wades to start out with. Yes. So then when we got our record deal, they do a trademark search, and apparently there was a uh, gospel group in... England. England that refused to let us share the name. So then someone at the label came up with Sisters Wade. We did not. We didn't have money. money. We had no money. Continue. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) So anyways, then we became Sisters Wade. But then after, you know, we uh, gave up on music a while ago because of family things. Um, We came back to do this with Andy. And and we we decided... And we broke. We... (laughs) (laughs) Because <laughs> when we decided to get this all back together, we thought it would be apropos to call ourselves Sisters Wade Revival. Reviving, I like that. Reviving our career. I From, think that's cool. But we call the three of us 3-0. 3 Oh, solo 3 Solo 3 does, mm-hmm. does the O stand for anything or is just O? Well, like a duo, but okay. a 3 It's all the right. O in most <laughs> I like that. That's it. Oh, yes. Shout yeah. out to O. Oh, oh. Oh. Wow. So now your sister's way. Revival. Revival. <clears throat> and then you're, y'all are on the road some. You're playing different places. We We're are. recording new music. Recording new music. Making videos. Yes. In fact, our latest single just uh, went over 200,000 streams. So that's on Spotify. Pretty, that's pretty good. Shout out to Spotify and all those that listened. Thank you. And tell us the And who the, produced the song. it? Andy Most. Andy, Andy Most. Shout out to O. Shout out to O. <laughs> Andy Most. Shout out to O. I like it. Uh, 200,000 views. That's, that's a lot. For yes. an independent act, I think it's pretty good. And yes. y- y- y'all, where can people find you like uh, on social media? I mean, we've got Instagram. Yes. Facebook. Yes. Tick. Talk? Yes. What about Snapchat? Or you- YouTube. We don't do the Snapchat. We're on YouTube. YouTube. Though. YouTube. That's a, mm-hmm. that's a big deal. Spotify. Spotify. Apple Music. Pandora. And this, all of them. And this podcast Amazon. will be able to be heard. Everywhere. All, all of those places. Yes. And yes. it will be video. It will be a video as well. as well. Audio and video. Yes. <laughs> Which is, that is really cool. That's really cool. Very so. Cool. Where where are we going from here, y'all? Are y'all play, uh, are y'all just writing music? Or we you, are. This podcast is a big to do. 
It really it's is. total world domination. <laughs> 2024. I think it's cool. And you, you can give it your own flavor. Yes. Yeah. And that's what it's about. And it, what will be really great is on Monday, we'll talk about our favorite gear and just different stuff to, you know, make our beautiful acoustic instruments sound great. And, uh, and then um, on Thursdays, we'll have friends that will come and play with us, talk with us. And uh, we're going to gear towards music. Yes. Gear. Yeah, gear. Talking about gear. So we were all talking about this one time and. We love how our instruments sound in here. Acoustic, I would gather most acoustic performers love their sound of their instrument. But when you go to a big place, you have to amplify it somehow. And especially mandolin, I think. Now, I don't play other instruments, so I don't. I shouldn't say only mandolin. But when mandolin sometimes on a big stage, it sounds like crap. And so that's sort of been the mission to try and get that... <laughs> Make it, make it electric? Is that what you're saying? No, just to make it amplified so people can hear it, but still sound acoustic. Andy, maybe you can describe it better than I am. Yeah, yeah. Andy. I don't think so. <laughs> we, want, <laughs> we want the fine people in the audience to hear it the way we're hearing it. Yes. Pure, I think that's, The yeah. pure sound. Yeah. Now, who in here can play the banjo? Not me. No. No. No banjo pickers. Chaz can play the banjo. Can he? Yeah. But not with us. No. No. We okay. no. <laughs> just, just asking. Just saying. That's old school. Well, we're not a bluegrass band. So. Yeah, I'm the banjo. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dave. I know. Nothing against banjos, people. <laughs> but, you know, our kind of music doesn't really... We are in the South. We are in the South. And, yeah, and banjos are nice. I like Bela Fleck. He could come here and play if he'd like to. That, yeah, that would be good. <laughs> so what? What? Let oh. me. <laughs> Bela Fleck. Bela? Did I say it right? I think Bela. I said it right. Bela Fleck. Um, so who's doing most of the songwriting? All three of you? We do it together. Do it? It's definitely. Tell us about that process. I think, I think what's so cool about the three of us, not to brag on us, but it's just like, I feel like. We make a cake and all these ingredients go in and it makes a cake. And that's like us. Like we we all bring something to the table, whether it's a writing a song, whether it's producing the song, performing live. Like I feel like we are the ingredients of a cake. Shout Did out to cake. <laughs> not cake not, we like to eat cake. And not cake the group, cake the food. Cake the food. And y'all mesh yeah. well. You mesh well. I think so. I think we have a really similar vision. But what's really cool is... You know, in terms of where our focus was with music before we all got together, we each have like kind of something that we kind of focused on. And then I feel like all those things influence what we do. I really love when we all play together because it's so, so much fun. And it's a good thing. Yeah, it, it, it is. And it's just really creative and um, and Andy's kind of like our mentor. He always pushes us to play better on our instruments. Or and cracks the whip. Highly, cracks the whip. Highly coachable. <laughs> highly coachable. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And he's introduced us to gear, which is why I we're know. doing this podcast. Yes. Gear. Over the last many years. So as you can see on our back set here, which was my Merch. place that you put yes. girly stuff, we have gear. Stuff that we use, some things that we add to coffee later, um, and and some of our merch. Can I can I grab this? Real quick? Yes. Oh, look what he's choosing, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is part of our chuck this, it or keep it. Is this erotica? <laughs> it is not erotica. <laughs> what is this? Is it a? Uh, 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 is this a bong or is it a, or is it a play toy? What is so this? this? I'm sorry. This, 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 don't tell Kirk I said that. Kirk, I didn't mean it. <laughs> so we have a, a segment on the show, or we're going to call Chuck It or Keep It, and so the, we look at fun stuff on the internet, um, and not that kind of stuff. Know what it is. You want to no. keep? Hey, no. You want to keep this? You want to keep this? <laughs> yes. So we so we like to buy all these crazy little things. Kind of like the wrist assist in tennis. You know, there's all those little gadgets that are supposed to help oh, you. And so... Um, 
I love to look at gear online when I'm like sitting at a traffic light or you're not supposed the, to be doing that while you're driving. I, I no, I'm not driving. That, I'm like stuck. Would you? Can you? Yeah, show I can work? show you how this works. So what's it for? So Come on, this, sis. Okay, so this is called yeah. the breather voice. Okay, and the idea is to help strengthen your diaphragm, your lungs. So it's from a medical device company. So I think they used to use this for people like that just had trouble breathing. So, so instead of vaping, we do this. This would help vapors. Shout out to this would help. Right, so it That's looks like something like else. I don't vape. I'm just saying. <laughs> so actually, that other thing I have, the vocal mist, would be more like a vapor. Yes. Um, that's for the other show. But this has an excellent inhale. Um, Register. Yes. So like you can do it like at a two up to a six. <laughs> And Go same and thing sell. on this side. So the idea is that you Tempers. inhale and you exhale. <laughs> so to get more strength, you increase. So watch. So you go inhale first. <laughs> that, that's, that's how it works. And then you just keep doing that. And then when you're like, oh, that's so easy, then you start turning it up. Oh, now, I will tell is, you. I, be, you I believe you that's what that's that really is. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's sure. I think there's something in there. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never seen one. I just thought that was unique. It, we had neither. It is unique. We, 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 we are still trying to decide if it's a keep it. No, we're keeping it. I keeping think it, it was either. just proven that needs to be kept. <laughs> so the breather voice, oh, buy one annoying. today. What is this? That's yeah. a very fancy pick case. Right down here. Put all you your picks buy in. One. Yes, down here. <laughs> on our link. On we our are affiliate filling. link, yes. That's a pick case. That is. Now, how many people oh. really carry a pick case? That's like something. <laughs> I <laughs> thought it was something to do with cosmetics. It's that one right there. Yeah. I thought it would be like something. So a chick, compact. Chick I thought it was a compact. You thought it was or where you keep your weed, I guess. <laughs> My weed. I don't do weed. <laughs> I don't do weed either. I don't do weed. That's you sure you can know a lot about it, though, Bill. You know <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm not saying 35 years ago. I'm, not. I'm a different person now. <laughs> Me too. There we go. Shout out to being a different person. Yeah. Change. change and I like to hope I'm a better person, not just a different person. <laughs> I don't know about this guy. <laughs> Yeah. We're getting there. We're that's getting right. there. That's right. We're getting there. We are works in, what is it? Progress. Progress of works. Works in progress. Works in progress. That's Pro- it. Progress, that's not it. perfection. I promise you I am not on highness. <laughs> I just think it's cool, though. You, uh, yeah. Y'all have got people, it going on. People are going to watch this, right? Yes. So, okay. Yes, Andy's terrified that people are going <laughs> to be watching you, it. Have y'all decided when people are going to see it? When are you going to let this drop? It's live streaming right now. No, it is not. <laughs> March 18th. March 18th. That's when we're hoping to have the first episode. So, uh, is that going to be this show or are we looking at another show? This will be before that. This is going to be a a preemptive strike. Yes. Yes. To get people enticed. Yes. Yes. To know more about it. And aroused. Yeah, it's aroused. Or maybe. Or, I mean, they want to get happy. Let's get happy. Yeah. Parcher, Parcher, That's right. Oh, yes. Parcher's fan. Yes. Let's get Parcher. happy. <laughs> Dan, Donnie Bonaduce. Let's get it. <laughs> Say this mic sounds really good. This sure mic sounds really I good. I do. I like this yes, mic. Yes, he yeah. sounds very, very, very. very maybe that's very just your good. voice. Very, very good. Yes. <laughs> well, I am excited, y'all. Um, well, thank you. I've been keeping up with y'all for a while because I'm one of y'all's biggest fans. And, and uh-huh. Andy. Thank you. Yeah. Well, What's we've up? been on yeah. the Mr. Murphy's Burrow show. Yeah, we, we've Several had a good times. time. When is your first show? Who's going to be your first guest? Do y'all know? So March 18th is going to be dropping three episodes. And mm-hmm. then we are hoping to have Chess Williams as our first guest. I mean, oh. you're officially our first guest. Yes, Bill, you are our first guest. Come yeah. on. Come on. Thank Come you. on. Thank you. Uh, yes, I definitely will be sharing this out to everybody. Thank you. Thank um, you. I'm excited for y'all. And maybe this could uh, it could turn into like a mini series or something. Yes. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I'm being serious. Oh, Seriously, mini series. You never know. Um, you've gone from let's say you've gone from the uh, what was the name of the f- the first group? To uptown. Si- uptown. Up, uptown, 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 <laughs> Uptown, oh, and Frankie is, and Johnny over there with the, Frankie and Johnny. What? No, it's Frankie then, and then, Johnny. Then, Vivian. Close, close enough. Vivian, <laughs> Vivian and Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other girl's name? Frank. And, Frank. And then Frankie. It, and then the sisters. <laughs> sisters Wade. The sisters Wade and the sisters Wade revival. revival. Well, actually, one caveat: we were the Doyles when oh, we first came yes. here. And Y'all every, were the Doyles, right? We were the Doyles. However, in the South, it's the Dolls. 
And like so, dull pineapple. Yes. Right. Or the 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 guy personality. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. Robert Dole. Let and so Robert somebody Dole. somebody said to us, "That sounds like people you have over for dinner." So we had to come up with another name, and. So did y'all have your name changed, or was this from we, a, a marriage or a no. divorce? No. no. So we actually, our dad w- said, you need to use my middle name. That was his mother's maiden name mm-hmm. was Wade, and so um, that's what we did. I didn't yeah. know that. Yes. I mean, I've been thinking y'all for so long. They're like crazy. They have all these different names. I don't know who they are. Yes, we <laughs> have a very colorful family. <laughs> Julie and mom were so convinced there was some major history. So they did the DNA thing of our oh, family yeah. to find out. So it turns out we have a little Scottish in us. Scottish. I thought we were they just the Irish. The bagpipe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't play the bagpipe. And we've got Irish. And the French side of the family was quite colorful. Mm-hmm. We dated it back. We had a, oh, I won't even say. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will. Was, 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 she was, it was out. it a prostitute? She, no, no but she was a murderer. She killed a bunch of people in Quebec. Uh, that's where that what? anger Are you comes serious? from. Uh, yes, my dad's mom's family. But that was many years ago. Everybody. Hundreds everybody, years ago. everybody. Everybody. Everybody has family. Uh, they're different. In my mm, own yes. family, I'll just share something with y'all. Okay. One of my mom's cousins <laughs> met her. We took her one time to to a mental institution, okay? Oh. We may want to edit this, but anyway, we took her to the mental, I'm not going to say her name, but if you're listening, you know who yes. you are. We will uh, say this yeah. for you before we, we put it to the air. And so. she goes to the mental institution, she looks over the corner, and there's a gentleman sitting there, and he's smiling to her, and it happened to be her old high school sweetheart. <gasps> he was checking in too. <laughs> Each other crazy. <laughs> oh. We gotta get a shout out. That's magical. <laughs> uh, checking in, checking in. Yeah, I just thought that was. Aww. But anyway, I probably should have said that, but it, it gave to the story. Yeah, it's what a, we're trying to do here. Yeah. I, I always thought you were the weights. Andy, do you have any stories about name change or nothing I can and, talk about? <laughs> so you've always been Andy most, and Andy and I were talking before the show. There, there was a uh, a back doctor. Down in Murfreesboro with the last name most. And that y'all are the only two people I know with the last name most. Most. Oh. But I think that's a cool name. You, it is a cute name. Most yeah. is a is a cool name. Andy yeah. the most. Andy He's most. The mostest. The mostest. Mm-hmm. I love that. Oh. That's all I got on that. Donnie most. Donnie most. Donnie, Donnie most. Oh. Right off the mouth. No relation, but people they would call, they would call my you parents' that. house. Oh, they asking did? Asking for Donnie Most. That's <laughs> what I heard that one. That's pretty funny. That's funny. Now, people that don't know who Donnie Most is. Ralph the Mouth. Yes. Was I'm, that the Partridge family? No. no. Oh, oh, happy God. days. <laughs> hey, get her out of here. Get her out of here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a sin. I ever thought about, any of y'all thought about doing some acting? <laughs> my freshman year mm, in college, every day. I was at Emerson College studying to be an actress. Oh, it's, Lord. I did one show mm-hmm. at, down in Murfreesboro. It was a play, and I had to put on these white overalls. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were in a movie. You were in a movie. I was in a movie that's you coming out. You played the out. police officer. I played, and, it, and the movie's called, believe it or not, it's called Eating Me Up. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out, and you'll Is see me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Something's Meredith. eating me up. It's eating me up, and I think it's it's about a lady who has a uh, eating. eating eating disorder. Oh. Oh. oh, but it's coming out this fall. We, but we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about. Oh, that's oh. right. We're here to, with our guest on our show. But I did get to rest a friend of mine. Oh. That was kind of that was fun. fun. That is I was fun. huffing. I, when they go action, I had to run in. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, hey, you're under arrest. <laughs> Andy, have you ever had an acting gig? Besides from this? No. Uh, no, this is really you, Andy. You're not acting now. Uh, no, yeah. this is Andy? real life drama. <laughs> I once played a wayfaring stranger. <gasps> oh, he you did. did. Yes, that was actually most excellent. Wayfaring stranger. Way to go, oh. Way to Where go, oh. Way to go, on. Check it out on YouTube if you're interested. Yeah, that's acting can be fun. It can be. It can be. 
But when do you, yeah, like, like when do you know if somebody's being real or not? <gasps> I don't know. If they're really good, you might not know. Well, that's true. The acting, um, anybody can be an actor, you know. I think this is true. Right. I think this is true. Some people act all the time. <laughs> Some people act out. They do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. Y'all weren't the type that got in trouble growing up, did you? No. no. Oh, no. Andy, were you a troublemaker? No. Okay. No. I was. I oh, were you a troublemaker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a song that we recorded called Troublemaker. We will dedicate it to you the next time we play yes. it. I wish you would. It's your reunion. That's right. Yes. Does, yes. yes. Does the yes. police bringing you home mean you were a troublemaker? <laughs> yeah. so, oh, Andy was a troublemaker. <laughs> oh. Yes, I think that qualifies, no. Andy. If you make it home, it. I don't know. But I don't have, believe it. So you never saw the bars. That's The bars? No. Okay. The bars. Uh, you're a junior troublemaker. <laughs> if, if a junior co- troublemaker. Uh, junior troublemaker trouble. in training. Oh no. Trouble oh, no. Maker. So what have what's the wildest thing y'all done? The wildest thing as a trio? Like, well, or individually. That yeah, was I mean, the I'm trip not, down no. to Texas. I, I also remember <clears throat> us playing at this trucker thing and Andy saying to us, Now look. <laughs> Don't go out and walk to anybody's truck. Oh, there was like a music that, thing. A it lot, was a music thing. We were playing a, at this big trucker convention. A lot right. lizards, what they call it. Yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> so so Andy <laughs> Andy goes somewhere to set up some gear, and he comes out. He goes, "I was gone five minutes, and where are you going? You're going to some guy's truck. Well, well he had he a was, new truck. She's out there having babies. That's <laughs> no, what she's doing. No, no. Take no. it off. Edit this. No. Okay." <laughs> <laughs> Kirk, I'm joking. This is going nowhere. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm anyway, sorry. I'll shut up. No, you're yes. fine. You're fine. We did not actually get in the truck. We no, were just Andy's, looking at it. Andy circumvented that situation. Is that the right word? Circumvented. Hey, times are hard. I get it, y'all. Times are hard <laughs> no. sometimes. You've got. Oh, God. No, he had it. He was super nice, and we were very nice back then. And he was just <laughs> like, then. "We're back big, then. we're back, big fans of your music. Would you like to see our brand new truck?" And we said, "Sure." And then Andy was like, oh, my God, where are they? Andy, where are you? your big brother, where, where are you at? He said, I left you alone for five minutes. <laughs> I was, Andy what gone, did I say? Andy had gone to the John. <laughs> and he goes, what back. did I say? What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> and it was in, um, wasn't it in Louisville, Kentucky? <laughs> yeah, it was in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. I was, so that was checking out the naked lady mud flaps in the truck stop. <laughs> 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 yes. That's funny. No naked lady. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. Uh, Those are some good stories right there. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's frightening. Huh? It's frightening we've made it this far. Two weeks. Two weeks in Texas. Mm-hmm. Two in the weeks. Monte. Oh, These my two. God. S- swel- All over Texas. Sweltering. In the Monte Carlo. <laughs> Preach, Andy. With Walt Wilkman. <laughs> Wilkins. Walt, Walt Wilkins. Whitman's candy. Uh, Y'all have to, no, Walt not the candy. Whitman's. Walt Wilkins. Or Walt Whitman. Melted. He was a poet. He Was that Moby Dick he wrote? What was that? Uh, he Walt did Whitman. write some uh, very famous things. I just don't remember. Oh, I'll think of it. I think, again. wasn't he a poet? He was Maybe a poet. he was an author. He was a poet, didn't know it. He didn't, <laughs> he Julie, didn't know I, it. Bo- Julie, am I born? You over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah. we, you're saying yes. we need to wrap this so up. So we had no. a tour in <laughs> yeah. Texas. Wrap it up. Playing no. with Walt Wilkins. Walt I just said his Wilkins. name. Walt Wilkins, I know. I'm just repeating because we oh. had a little break. And so Andy came with us, the three of us, drove from here to Texas and all over they Texas. They paid me. We did pay him. Y'all? Yes. Y'all did. I was going to ask you, Yeah, do y'all pay Andy? <laughs> <laughs> or, do y'all, or do y'all have all the stash, like, in the trunk of the car? Oh, uh, well, yeah. No. <clears throat> Never. The, you paid them in cash, right? Of course. It wasn't, like, in bullion or... Bullion. Uh, in moonshine. Bourbon. Yeah. No. Or a check, a personal check. <laughs> <laughs> Let me write you a check. <laughs> so. Cash only. <laughs> I think Andy should talk to us. About how we came up with the name Chicks with Gear for this Yeah, podcast. let's talk about that. I think that would Tricks be very with fun. Gear. Seems how it sort of started with Andy. Andy, you're up. Chicks with Gear. Mm-hmm. Let's start with. Okay. <laughs> so we're playing. <laughs> okay, we're, we're playing okay. a gig at Twelve Keys. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Shout out for Mo. Mo. And. And. Yeah. We go pulling in. And usually 
I don't want to mention any names. Deb is usually the last <laughs> one yeah. there. We usually have an over and an under. And, you know, yeah. she's usually dressed down for this. So, dressed yeah. down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like today. No, yeah. just so, <laughs> Helping her move her gear. Yes. Get it all in. Might have even been raining. I don't know. That's yeah, happening. probably. We Sometimes all get it in. Me and Julie are usually there on Way time. early. <laughs> we help her get it in. We get it in and uh, got all the stuff in and... She forgot all her cords to plug in. <laughs> and that was chicks without gear. So I just wanted to start. So that's where it started. Uh, no, that, well, I went forward first. Yeah, he went okay, forward. Okay, that was a gear. bad day for sure. She they left have, all the cords. No cords. No cords. No yeah. bag. She keeps him in a crate. It was like, like a little crate. Should I go back and get him? <laughs> Yeah, it's like an hour away. I was a little slow. I live like two minutes away, so I went and got him. But anyway. Yes. Nice of you, Andy. Thank you, yeah, Andy. That's right. So, Brother Andy. Chicks we with gear. We might need a little, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we've all bought gear. They've yes. kind of, I've influenced them a bit on Just this. A bit. So. We copy him. Yeah. Especially Julie. Yeah. Well, you're the resident gear head. I am. Well, that's what I heard. <laughs> yes. I used to be way more of a gearhead than I am now, but they're oh, bringing me back in. Your rig's pretty it, impressive. So. His, his it pedal train the, is humongous. Crazy. Humongous pedal train. I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> That's okay. what she said. <laughs> oh, no. so, oh. so, that, so they would get it. They plug the stuff in. Yes. Yeah. It Having work. no idea how to plug it in, <laughs> and just start plug it in, plug the stuff in. Well, what and I would do, well, what I would do okay, is yeah. I would go over I and look help. at you. No, you're doing fine, <laughs> but I would look and see how your pedals yeah. were, and I would take a picture of it yeah. so that I could set up my pedals that way. Yeah, that's and your right. first step in recovery: is admitting that you have a problem. <laughs> it's true. I'd be like, I don't it know. is Blame true. I know all about it. <laughs> so it would start. There'd be like nothing, and. You know, it probably wasn't plugged into the wall, so. <laughs> Whoops. And I would you forgot to pay the electric bill. Uh, this is like the with gear just guy the guy would thing. always go, yes. is it plugged in? Is it plugged in? So that Andy would be like, is it plugged in? <laughs> <laughs> and we'd like, no, -uh. oops. Uh, did you pay, the, did you pay the electric bill? <laughs> that, not that was a different time. Well, that was a different time? Yeah. Yes. Y'all have it going on, y'all. I tell you. With uh, your new podcast, mm -hmm. and are y'all going to play any gigs or? But besides, yes. yeah. besides yeah. Marine, <laughs> you going to yes. play some gigs? Yeah, because y'all been playing twelve keys, and that's in Hermitage, right? Yes, yes. And then go ahead. Um, well, actually, we're gonna we're gonna be in June. We're gonna be in the borough mm -hmm. at Borough Bourbon and Brews. There we go. Oh! we got you in there. Yeah, well, I didn't get you in. But that's a great. Have y'all been there before? I have not. Okay. No. They've I'm driven by. They've got, it's a it's a cool it's setting. It's very it's cool. A, maybe a hundred, mm -hmm. hundred, maybe two hundred people. Get in it's there. pretty big. Standing place. room, but they yeah. have a. When you walk in, right there to the right is your stage, and it'll be perfect. Yeah, for us. Yes. For, for we're you, excited. You, it'll be good. Yep, Julie got us the gig. And they've got good. They've got good food too. Ooh, we yeah, better. food is good. Yeah. Yeah. Bourbon. Yeah, Do they got some bourbon? Oh, yeah. yeah. They got tons of bourbon. <laughs> yeah, it's in the right. name. Ding dong. Burrow, bourbon, Ding and dong. Ah. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it used to be a bank. It used to be the Ooh. Murfreesboro Bank and Trust. When you walk in, there's a you can look to the right was where the safe was, the vault. Oh. Oh, that's I've cool. already checked it out. There's no <laughs> money. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> dang it. So you got my password and the vault at the yeah. bourbon. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to share. Uh, yeah. B e a x d e r. Yeah. By the way, where where is Max? He's in my bedroom, being very good. Well, he he really likes me. Yes, yeah, he, he was trying to help. Bell oh Bill. no! I, I was like, darn. He kept pulling his leg Baxter. in. Uh, I was like, yikes! Baxter, Baxter, do you have a cigarette? <laughs> I guess I missed that. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. oh your Baxter. apology. Okay, are you, we got are you, you done, again. Baxter? Are you done? Uh, please. <laughs> Hello. Was it good for you, Baxter? Yeah. We, he, you know, had had his entree or his, his what? appetizer. He wanted his entree. <laughs> he wanted the entree. He, got, he wanted Mr. Murphy's bro. He wants to be famous. He got a donut before That's you right, got he here. Had a donut. Yeah, a donut. <laughs> yeah. By and the way, he had do, it do, almost do, completely yeah. swallowed. Wow. I got it out. Oh. It was like a, a rolled up in a ball. Like it was almost down his throat. I grabbed it out. 
isn't doe isn't that kind of dangerous for dogs? Yeah. I think oh, so. Really? And he was just at the vets this week. Two hundred eighty-seven dollars. Thank you very much. What was mm. wrong with? What was wrong? Well, we think he got. In, well, we know he got into the trash that was uh, out in the backyard. He and ate some trash. Ate a bunch of trash. He's part goat. And then he threw it all up. Bah. And then he wouldn't yeah, eat anything. No so we had no to take good. him to the vet. He went berserk at the vet. It was awful. I was so embarrassed. And then he terrified two dogs while we were in there. Then he peed <clears throat> on the wall, lifted his leg on the wall. Just peed. Right he's never there. like that, but he went berserk. It sounds like he's showing out. Y'all, you <laughs> he's may never need, like I that. I think we need a he's therapist. He's never done that before. <laughs> we, may get, we may need help. That's what kids say. All, I mean, parents say about their kids. Maybe some Prozac. You <laughs> might miss grandma. Oh, would never do that. Oh. You probably did miss grandma. You probably did miss grandma. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. And he's a good dog, though. He, he is such a good dog. I bet you he's a good guard dog, too. He is. Thanks. He is a what good, type of what type of dog is Baxter? An Airedale Terrier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And his girlfriend is Julie's dog Holly. Mm-hmm. They love each other. They, they do. Yeah, well, they're they? from Tennessee. So Holly, this makes, <laughs> family. <laughs> this, ah, hey, yeah. this is my wife and my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Please look. don't look at her ah. caca. Okay, we'll oh, edit that. Uh, we will edit. <laughs> we'll edit that one. <laughs> Oh, dance well, break. Well, shoot. Let's, we just want to thank Bill Wilson, Mr. Murfreesboro, for Hello. coming out. Aww. We love you, too, being a part of our very first podcast. I can't wait Chicks to with see Gear it. and Andy Bose of the more Pack. This guy about Murfreesboro. Than yes, he does. Thank you. And we love you. Yes, well, we I do. Love, yes, I we love do. y'all. Thank you so next, much. But... And until next time, don't you worry about it. Right? Don't you worry about it. Correct. I concur. Chicks with Gear. <laughs>